Hi guys, hi, my name is Rhiannon. Uh, Rhiannon is Welsh for my parents smoked a lot of pot in the 1970s. <laughs> yeah, it's a hard name to grow up with. I got mistakenly called Rihanna a lot. I mean, obviously. <laughs> but at least I could share my pain with my siblings, little Beyonce. <laughs> Baby Shakiro. I was born in 1995. Slightly, slightly odd year. It means I'm not quite a millennial. I'm not quite Gen Z. I'm somewhere in the middle. I'm, I'm what's called a zillennial. And I define that as, so I remember the invasion of Iraq, uh, but I don't remember there being evidence of WMDs. <laughs> Might just be a generational thing there. <laughs> so I'm 26. I'm 26 years old, and uh, I'm engaged. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's kind of weird, though, right? It's a bit, it's a bit weird. It's, it's, like, it's like it's too young for, for normal people, but too old for like a, a dog. <laughs> Part of the reason I'm getting married so young is because my mum, uh, she didn't have me until she was 37, and I, I really want to have kids, you know, before she gets too old. I, I just, I don't know, I, I really love the idea of my children growing up around free childcare. <laughs> yeah, I love my mum. Everyone loves my mum. Mum's a Great lady. I wouldn't say she was a stereotypical mum. She's Scottish. She doesn't do stereotypical mum things like baking or crochet or fucking a horny stepson. <laughs> there is this, uh, there's this one thing she does, and I don't know, I don't know if your parents do this, but whenever we're watching, or whenever we're watching an old movie, uh, she likes to point out which actors went on to lead tragic lives. <laughs> so at Christmas we were watching Oliver. And uh, every few minutes, she'd look up from her iPad and go, he used to beat his wife. <laughs> or she contracted brittle bone disease <laughs> and never danced again. <laughs> or that dog, well, he had a string of successful TV roles, but he never felt fulfilled as an artist. <laughs> <laughs> Consider yourself depressed. <laughs> nah. I had quite an unusual family growing up. I mean, human IMDB over there, Shakiro, Beyonce, <laughs> little Taylor Swint. Um, and my dad, oh, my dad, oh, my daddy. My dad was not really a dad dad. He was more of a dead dad. <laughs> yes, he's dead, which makes my, uh, <laughs> which makes my mum a widow, a Scottish widow. <laughs> No, he died when I was 15, and uh, I've always thought it was kind of ironic because his birthday was in early July, which made his star sign the crab, which is called cancer. But he died of being shot in the chest by a centaur, <laughs> which, as we all know, is Sagittarius, right? <laughs> Not really. He, uh, he died of a pulmonary embolism, which isn't a star sign, but is a fun way to bring the mood down, you know? <laughs> It's hard, I'd say it's, it's really hard at first. And then after a while, losing a parent is kind of like losing an obscure piece of kitchenware. St stay with me, he couldn't, but you guys can. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so you were going about your sort of daily kitchen business, some people call it cooking. And then uh, you'll have to do something really specific, like slice up uh, papaya. And you'll be like, oh, damn, this used to be a lot easier when I had my specific papaya slicing knife. Where did that get to? So in this analogy, replace papaya slicing knife with dad and uh, the act of slicing the papaya with trusting a man ever again. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, as I say, I'm engaged. <laughs> Yeah, I'm engaged. Uh, quickly, I'm just going to tell you the story of how my boyfriend, now fiancé, proposed to me. So we were in Paris, the city of Emily. And, uh, <laughs> and that, that morning we'd been to the catacombs, you know, where they keep all the skulls and the bones, I think because he wanted to ask my dad's permission. Um, <laughs> And we, we took a walk, we went to the Jardin de Luxembourg, and uh, he got down on one knee and he asked me if I would be willing to take his name. And I said, yes. <laughs> yeah, I said, you know, after all these years of being mistakenly misnamed uh, because of a famous pop star, I will gladly become Mrs. Ned Sneeran. <laughs> Thank you very much, I've been Rhiannon Shaw. Sure.